Riverside and Burton, actually in front of the Riverside Liquor Store. They're filming the police stop. You may want to turn the engine off. No telling how long it'll take. That's good. Bring him over here, that'll blow our cover. Jeez. Mm, come right into the camera. Yep. <laughs> yep, cover's blown. <laughs> Oh well, we got a front row seat for this. Oh, this is where he's going to take the test. Yep. Oh, they're going to show it to a jury with Riverside Liquors in the background. Now, is that prejudicial? Right in front of Riverside Liquors. And if this goes to a jury, they're just going to show that and not say a word. You want me to put the window down? Yeah, if it'll go down, it'll get sound that way too. <laughs> Cadillac. <laughs> I'm a Cadillac man. You know, right now, that's definitely my shape, and I looked at a Seville that broke my heart because I probably could have stretched to get it financed and stretched to make payments and to buy super unleaded gas. Oh my God. And it's like, it was close enough that I couldn't just say, oh no, it's not, you know, I'm not buying a $40,000 new car. I really thought about it all. This was a $7,000 used car. Yeah, I bet it was nice too. It's a good, good. Yeah, and it looked cool.
I don't think it is. I was looking too. Oh, we filmed it before. No, just random stops that turn out to be him. made everybody stay ridiculous distances back. Of course, with this camera, I can zoom in from a ridiculous distance. Maybe they'd have been nice anyway, maybe not. Yeah, I don't I don't want to say yeah, they wouldn't dude, be nice, that but one dude did a very long <laughs> mm -hmm. You've met Lynn, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's closer to your age than mine. Is he really? Yeah. He keeps himself in good shape. He's an old Marine. Just wasn't drunk. Drive, drive as soon as we got here, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it's, it's legal. legal. Yeah. Hold up a minute. I mean, I can't see you. We got No. <laughs> you know what? Yep. Our dear friend is Antonio Buick. Yeah. Hope he hasn't heard of him. Some guy who got dumped on. Please go to our website. They, they saw us and waved. Tonight, <laughs> we have people all over town. Video taking. Mm -hmm. 
Because they 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 are abusing them, right? Yeah. They're they're re abusing people really bad. Well, and the technology they have to get, uh, yeah. uh, you know, a stereotype and whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with Antonio Buda? No. New Year's Eve when the two girls were getting beat up by the cops on North and Moore. Just this he year. He got out that oh, was last, year. last year. Last year. Still hadn't gone to court. They claimed he spit on them because he. He started filming and saying, hey, what are you doing? Two young girls. Yeah. 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 Now, in yep. other words, if they don't have a black eye or bloody nose, they say, well, he spit on me. That's an assault. And they just lie. Yeah. So please go to the website and watch our videos there, especially get to know about Antonio Buick. You're going to be so surprised when you read about him. Yeah. And you know what's really bad? When the old people get in this town and live their own lives, are tired of this BS, then like, that's a bad. Well, you know, that's what this used to be their the face. The veterans are um, the government's worst enemy, yep. their biggest fear. Yeah, absolutely. Know? Antonio was a, a West Pointer and a veteran. Antonio, that's right. Antonio was a West Pointer. My generation and even younger people, like I was born in 83, yeah. I was raised in some of this crap, you know. Wow, so yeah, mm -hmm. you've seen some um, stuff. But like, <laughs> That's the worst thing you can do. And what we, what we do need is um, yeah, one day the people want to like jump in them boxcars. Yeah. Well, we did a big protest on uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, uh, Wednesday at DPS. The roadside rape, have you heard about that? Oh, Google that too and watch that video. That will make you curious. DPS officer. A and, female. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, basically they did a body cavity search on the side of the road the for someone the road, they said they suspected woman. for marijuana. And people, women don't hide their marijuana there. Yeah, yeah. So now there's <laughs> In the we places they were checking. We don't know what's going to happen. But. I've never heard of anybody hiding a joint there. <laughs> oh, when they see us now, they be naked. You know, it's not any of their concern if it can yeah. get inside the body. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. please, give me a break, it's, right? You know, there's no harm. Please go and research all that. Thank you so much, just so you'll be you'll more knowing. Yeah. And thank you for speaking with us. That's yeah, one I thing saw, that always saw, helps us, yeah. I saw that and I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. This yeah. all started because of what they did to that is, man. Is that, I mean, I know, like, I've read about that stuff in other states, I think. Mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Here, is it legal? Or uh, yeah, it's no, completely it's legal. legal. In fact, and in the United Art States. Acevedo knows it and more or less told right. him to back off and be polite to us. He told him to quit. <laughs> The Supreme Court and any cop that's that. doing their job right. correct should be should proud be to be shown. Right. Right. They should be proud. Thank you so much, dear. Have a good night. Be careful. <laughs>